Hello there. You notice that I am uh, growing my hair, which is nice. Nice and long. It's going to get nice and long since the weather's getting colder. Okay, so now put the phone down. Put the phone down. There was a time long ago when smoking was normal. We used to smoke indoors. We used to smoke in restaurants. We used to smoke just for the sake of smoking because we didn't have any other form of entertainment back then. So what you could do was enjoy the view and enjoy a smoke now and then throughout your day. That was their smartphone at the time. Rewind it even further back and we had the radio. Okay, we were bored, we had nothing to do. So we would sit around the living room and listen to radio shows as a family. Rewind it even further, further back. And we had nothing. We just had spears. We had rocks. We had to hunt and gather. So the only form of entertainment we had was the fire. We would sit around the fire as a clan, as a tribe, and share our stories, laugh, maybe smoke some, uh, smoky smoky <laughs> or drink some drinky drinky whatever they had back then i don't know what i was but the point is you need to put the phone down okay phones are bad for you we know it already you know it in your gut it's bad for you it's distracting you it's getting in the way of progress i see people on the phone all the time they're on the phone while they're driving they're on the phone while they're on a dinner date in a restaurant they're on the phone when they're in the gym. They're on the phone when they're walking in public, walking on the streets. And I'm, I'm not just talking about the West. I'm talking about all over the world. I've seen this happen. And it's all the youngsters that are easily susceptible to this kind of behavior. And it's a bad habit. You got to stop it. You got to drop it. It's so easy to come up from behind when someone's using a smartphone and rear naked choke or stab them or hit them with a hammer. Criminals don't really need to do anything because, or politicians, because they've got all the information they need from their users of the smartphone. So fun fact about me, I have a smartphone, but I don't bring it with me to the gym. I don't bring it with me while I'm driving. I don't bring it with me. Almost, I just leave it at home most of the time. Usually I just use it for maybe like doing some banking or a little bit of messaging here and there. But I'm not doing that stuff while I am in the present. When I'm driving, I'm driving. When I'm at the gym, I'm training hard. I don't have time to look at the phone. When I'm on a date, my attention is 100% spent on the person that I'm speaking with. Girls have a really hard time conjuring one or two sentences together or having a, holding a conversation for more than a minute nowadays. It's really bad. We all know it's bad. Smartphones are bad for us. They are the new cigarettes. They are the new TV. They are the new radio. They are the new fireplace. They can be enjoyed in moderation. But you got to learn how, when to put the phone down. And you got to put the phone down now more often than you know. So be present. Breathe. Look around you. Be spatially aware. Be street smart. Okay? It's, it's common sense, but uh, yeah, just, just enough, enough of these uh, NPC characters around me that have to weave around. I keep thinking to myself, I can just easily whack! And they wouldn't even see it because their head's down like this, okay? Always protect yourself at all times. That's the number one rule in boxing, in the ring and outside the ring. So take this to heart, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!